Good evening, YouTube. Uh, I haven't posted an update in a while, so I figured, well, I might as well. I'm standing here in a quite a bit of acre piece of set and cutting right here behind the barn that we cut on Sunday. And now it's nice out, the sun's shining, but all day long and all day yesterday it was cloudy. So this set and cutting here is extraordinarily thick. As you can see, that's still real green. We'll probably end up picking up tomorrow, maybe. See how it looks. And uh, trying to try to get it bailed up. Um, yeah, still at our dealing with our challenging year this uh, in middle August. Um, it's it's been rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been what the heck happened here. Should never let Grumpus mow. Doesn't do a good job. But it's been a very challenging year. And uh, you know, we went on vacation last week up to Empire Farm Days in Seneca Falls, New York. Had a good time, purchased some stuff. Uh, saw some things we really liked. Uh, new Holland has a new round baler out. Utility baler that I was really impressed with. And I thought it was, uh, you know, probably make a, a decent buy. You know, relatively cheap and Anybody want a donkey? I'll take those two for free. Um, where was I? Australia. So the, uh, you know, and the price was pretty decent for us. See, I've listened to this almost all freaking night long. You see? Terrible. So, what I've been, uh, what I've been up to, well, other than fighting the weather, and uh, we still have about 60 acres of first cutting to get. 15 acres of rye to cut, which everyone keeps asking when we start opening a distillery. Uh, we need to harvest this rye. Uh, we don't own a combine, so combining is out of the option. You really can't find anybody around us who would combine it for us either. So we're going to take a stab one of these days and go down there, just knock it down as we can, and do what we got to do. Uh, I did not put corn in this year. Uh, I know I was one of my updates. I said, "Yeah, we're planting corn and it's all excited and happy." Well, we kind of ran out of time, and it uh, just didn't work out this year. So hopefully next year we'll have a little bit better time at it. Uh, it was a bit more prepared, new job, new hours. It might just work out a lot better for us. So. Um, 64 30 20 power shift nice tractor yeah we've uh, discussed a few other things um grumpus and i've talked about getting out of the the hay business entirely it's getting tough um not the easiest thing in the whole wide world there's a lot of people who sold their cows around us and are selling hay now and it's just getting to be real cutthroat and you know people don't want to you know, for what we got to get to, and we're not, as you can see, I'm showing you this right now, we're not driving brand new equipment around either. This stuff is old. <laughs> it was used. And, uh, you know, even then, we try to get for it, cover our costs. Somebody else is selling it for a little bit cheaper, and people are jumping on it. So what are you going to do? I got to move that one of these days. You can see that's the other second cut in there by the, in the meadows by the ditch. And it always grows back fast. It's actually already, I think the Timothy's already, the Timothy's already starting to head out again. So I better move that spreader one of these days. But yeah, we've, uh, you know, just plugging along out here. Uh, I just want to post something because I haven't posted anything in a while. The last thing I posted was we were square bailing. And uh, before you guys wonder where the heck I went, well, here I am. So I'm going to cut this one short because I have to go home and grab a shower and something to eat and get myself ready to go to bed because I have to get up at 1 a.m. and uh, drive down to Queens, New York all places good times so anyway like i said this is youtube so comment rate and subscribe it's very important follow me on instagram facebook and snapchat all denbeck farms and we'll see you guys soon bye